Greetings Virgo. Welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is September 26th, 2019. This is a general love reading for the end of the month of September for the sign of Virgo. It can pertain to any kind of relationship you're dealing with, romantic or otherwise. Also situations and or circumstances that you're dealing with. Be flexible with the energy. I have pre-shuffled all my decks, Virgo. We are going to get started right away. One more shuffle and one cut. And let's see what's going on for you today. All right, Virgo. What have we got for you? Start off with the Fool card and your underlying energy paired with the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, a new start, new beginning. Ace of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles. The Tower in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. And the Chariot in reverse. Okay, the first vibe, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this and we'll see how it transpires as we get more cards on the table. But the first thing that came to mind when I saw, especially your underlying energy with the Fool card and the Nine of Cups, was um, I got the sense of, of going off on your own for the first time. Almost like um, someone leaving home to start their life and to get going. And, and kind of with this carefree no planning attitude like I'm doing this I don't give a shit what everybody says and there's a sense of breaking free breaking away um, from a family situation or foundation that may have been um, consistently solid for you and you may be breaking free from that or leaving something behind um, I'm not getting a sense of breakup from this more than I am um, a sense of of leaving a situation um, of your own free will, walking away, or not a sense of getting left out, but walking away from a situation like it's time, it's time to branch out on your own, time to break free, but there's a queen of swords energy reversed with the chariot reverse. There's someone, it feels like this is an external energy to you, Someone who is downplaying your move or your decision or someone who's trying to talk you out of it or someone who's just being um, pessimistic or sarcastic regarding a, this decision you've made maybe to break free and, and branch off on your own or have a new beginning for yourself. This feels, Virgo, very in, you have very independent energy with the Fool and the Nine of Cups. Um... This Queen of Swords feels like either someone that is um, against you having a new beginning or, or doesn't want you to go or is worried or nervous about you and your success after you've left a stable situation or walked away from something. Let's see what else we get for you, Virgo. Clarifying the Fool, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And the Nine of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Let's see what else we get before I take a closer look. There's the Queen of Swords again in the upright position, clarifying the Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse, clarifying the tower, eight of pentacles, and the five of swords. Okay, so this, I want to start with this queen of swords energy first, before I get some more cards out here. This person either doesn't want things to work out, or is actively trying to dis, dis uh, keep you what's the word dissuade keep you from wanting to move forward or wanting a new start um 
maybe trying to hold you back on purpose or f may be feeling insecure about, again, about you moving away. This is creating conflict for this person, you walking away or um, creating conflict for their movement forward. There's something about them not wanting you to do this or feeling pessimistic about it. This is your energy, Virgo. You have the king of pentacles energy. Now, it's a king, but that doesn't mean that you're not a female. Remember to be flexible. But this king of pentacles um, represents loyalty, um, someone who is very grounded, someone who is very capable, someone who you look for for security, for, um, for comfort, someone who provides for others. This is a father figure, someone who can be, you know, family um, oriented. Someone who holds down a steady job, makes good money, you know, that type of energy. So there, you are, are seeking or starting out on a new adventure, something you've been wanting for a while, something you've wished for. This is a dream come true for you. But you do have the Eight of Wands in your underlying energy. There may be um, some delays, um, something that's keeping you from getting started with this or taking that first step. Some, there's some delays or obstacles in your way right now. It could be this Queen of Swords, this pessimism or this um, negative energy that's keeping you from taking those first steps. So we have the Queen of Swords again over here. This feels like someone you might be trying to um, walk away from or move away from. Someone who I feel has had, has a connection with you but is not necessarily seeking um, to support you or has your best interest in mind. You may have lost um, a level of respect for this person or maybe even some affections for them because of their attitude toward you. And I feel like, you know, this, this breakup or the walking away from the situation, this could possibly be a marriage. It could be a family situation where this person um, has been living with you or you two have supported one another. If you are the king of pentacles, it could be that you are walking away from this situation. It's creating problems for this queen of swords because she's feeling less stable with you not around. But this is something that's been long overdue, something that's needed to happen at least in your eyes. Um, walking away or, or, or leaving the situation, getting out of this living situation or connection with this person, this Queen of Swords, is, is relieving burdens for you. You may have felt obligations tied with this person that has kept you from, from moving towards your Nine of Cups um, new beginning. So walking away from this has actually relieved some burdens for you. Virgo. Now we have the King of Wands in reverse. This feels like a third energy. Uh, I'm just going to say for now without other cards on the table that this person's energy is one of maybe an abuse of power. Someone who you know has been a leader in the past or has been supportive in the past but maybe um, leading you in the wrong direction or no, no longer serving that purpose of providing you with, with guidance or someone that you would want to go to for um, answers or for help or for support. It could be that this person is also angry with this move or with this departure. Someone who feels like um, they don't have any control over this situation and probably would like to. Let me get some more cards out and see if I can't get any more information about this person. I don't feel like it's you, the King of Wands. It does feel separate from you. And I'm not sure what the connection is, if any, to this Queen of Swords yet. But it also does feel like you are you are um, walking away from or disconnecting from both of these parties, this King of Wands and this Queen of Swords, and neither one is happy about the situation. 
but I feel more more negativity coming from the Queen of Swords to the point where she might even be um, bad mouthing your decisions or talking down to you, um, being sarcastic about how you feel about what you want, maybe even saying, "Oh, this is just a pipe dream." What you know, this is a foolish decision, fool card, foolish decision. You know, you don't have any experience. This, you're just gonna fail. This is not gonna work. She's got the Eight of Pentacles, almost like she's wishing failure or stagnation, lack of movement, because for her, it's gonna cause conflict if you walk away. I feel like you may have been a support system for this Queen of Swords, if not both this Queen of Swords and this King of Wands. Maybe you were in a living situation where you were, you know, paying the mortgage or the rent or paying a significant amount of um, bills within the household and without you there, things are gonna fall apart for these two. But I, do, I don't feel for whatever reason that these two have been very supportive of you in the past, if at all. And that may be because they just wanted to keep you tied to them because you've been significant enough in their lives for them to want you to stay because you've benefited, your presence has benefited them. Okay, let's see what else we get for you. Clarifying the Fool, we have the Ace of Swords. You might be seeing that this is a necessary move for you. Not only a dream for you to start fresh or start, you know, start something for yourself, but a necessary move to get out of this. What feels like it could be um, a confining situation for you. We have the Sun card too. So there's a lot of clarity regarding this new beginning and this wish for you. I think you're very clear about what you want and the direction you're headed. You still have obstacles in your way, though. And it just could be the connection to these people. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this Queen of Swords is creating um, insecurity for you or keep keeping you, holding you back from feeling really certain about making these moves um, or taking that first step. Hangman, I think you put a lot of thought into leaving this foundation or this dynamic with these people. Seven of Swords. You may have kept this quiet for a while. Seven of Cups in reverse. You may have kept this quiet, your plans quiet, and now that you brought it out, I think that's what it is, now that you brought it out in the open, we've got the Five of Wands clarifying the Queen. This, she's got some internal conflict, and again, she's planting pessimism, doubt into your head about leaving um, I think that you've kept this quiet for a while, Virgo, and I say that because we have the Seven of Swords clarifying the um, Five of Pentacles. This is you walking away from the situation. And you may feel like you're walking away from a, a certain level of security. I feel like you've been in this dynamic for a while, um, but you're also relieving burdens, and I think the burdens are these these attachments and to me these people who have been dependent on you you've kept this quiet seven of swords this can mean deceit and lies but in this case i think it was necessary it feels like it was necessary for you to keep quiet for a while virgo that you um didn't want to let the cat out of the bag too soon because you knew what the reactions would be of these people and specifically this queen of swords who seems to be wanting to um make you feel insecure or uncertain about this move and then this king of wands who once you came out once this person became clear about what your intentions were the tower came down for this person and the anger came out and the um feeling a lack of power feeling a lack of control because you were you're going off on your own doing your own thing and feeling very certain and secure about it i might add your energy is very positive you are um, Ace of Swords, the Sun card, clarifying the Nine of Cups and the Fool. You have a very clear idea in your head where you're headed and how you're going to make these dreams come true for yourself. And you look ready. Ba based on what I'm seeing in the cards, Virgo, Spirit saying, yeah, Virgo's got this in the bag already. There's some delays, and the delays are you know, people who don't want to see this kind of success for you or who may be jealous. And that might be part of what this King of Wands problem is, especially in the reverse. This person, person could be jealous of your potential success or the potential that you have once you get started on this new beginning. And it's, you know, it's it's uprooting the foundation that these people 
that you are connected with have gotten used to. They've gotten used to this comfort of you being in their lives and being maybe a provider, um, being a source of income, that kind of thing. Hermit in reverse. Let's see what else we get for you. There's the Five of Pentacles again, clarifying the wheel in reverse. This is long overdue, we walking away from the situation or leaving these people in the dust. This is something that I think you've been thinking about for a long time. I think you may have some insecurities about doing this on your own, may, may be feeling a little bit um, nervous about I think that you know that when you walk away from the situation, you will be on your own. There's the tower clarifying the Queen of Swords and her her conflict. But she, this Queen of Swords is not happy. The towers come down for both the Queen of Swords and this King of Wands. This King of Wands is someone who I want to I want to do another shuffle and get some more of these cards out. But this King of Wands is someone who is. Um, a long-standing relationship, someone that you are very close to or have been close to in the past. Um, someone you valued um, within your life, someone who has been uh, probably supportive of you. But at the same time, this person now is also coming across as the king of swords in reverse. So we've got the queen of swords and the king of swords and I feel like this person may have decided to cut off communication with you, or if they are communicating with you, it's very, very harsh. This person feels like they are um, not reacting well to this tower moment. Now that they are no longer confused about what your motives are or where you're headed, this person is pissed. Virgo, you have pissed them off. And it partly could be because you've kept this quiet. I think that they it, at least, at least they're saying that, that the reason why they're so pissed is because you didn't let them know um, sooner or that you kept this quiet until you were actually ready to make your first moves. Um, your delays might actually be the effect of what, this, what these reactions from these people are, is that they have maybe affected your idea of, can you do this by yourself? Can you make it out there on your own? Will this work for you? So there might be a little bit of insecurity, but I think, Virgo, you are clear that you need to sever some ties, walk away from some relationships, at the very least separate yourself from the people who are holding you back. And I do feel like that is your main obstacle, is the people in your life, that it's time to walk away more than anything else, take action to get away from this queen of swords who has implanted a level of insecurity in you and I say implanted because it's kind of like you know she's just cracked open your head and you know put a little device in your brain saying Virgo you can't do this you'll be all alone out there in this big world with nobody to support you and you're gonna end up failing and coming back crawling back to us on your hands and knees hoping to get back in with you know, with us so that you have your your old life back. But I don't feel like that's what you want, Virgo. I think you know, you put a lot of thought into this. You got the hangman clarifying the four of wands in reverse. You put a lot of thought into this. I think you realized that it was absolutely necessary to separate yourself from these people that are holding you back. Let's get some more cards on the table. New beginning, new star, ace of wands. This is clarifying the fool card. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Fool card, this is all you. And letting go. Letting go of what's not serving you right now. Queen of Swords got the Two of Swords. She's the blockage. She's one of the reasons she's been blocking you for making this decision and or moving on this decision. I feel like she's she's a significant party in keeping you because she's all about talk, right? And this person, I think you you 
have relied on this person in the past for um, advice, going to this person for help, you know, guidance. Maybe this is a mother figure to you or someone that you sought out advice because you thought they were wise or someone who had your best interest in mind. I think you've changed your mind since then. So Queen of Swords is realizing that um, that she's losing this battle. She feels it's unjust. She thinks that she's being mistreated, but she knows also that she's losing this battle and she's got some, she's wrestling with some internal conflict. And so she, her, her answer to all this is to try to keep you around, to keep you from moving forward. Um, but it's unfortunate for her because this is the end for her. I, the conflict is the end of this relationship or the end of her influence, I should say. I don't necessarily, and this could be true for some of you, that, that you are ending the relationship altogether, severing ties and walking away from it completely. And others, I feel, may just be branching out on their own and saying, you know what, it's time for me to go on my way. I can't have this kind of influence in my life anymore. It's not healthy for you. And there's something about this king of wands feeling stuck or feeling like there's a lack of movement. They, again, this person might be jealous that now they're stuck with this queen of swords and here you are, Virgo saying, oh, fuck this, I'm out of here. And this king of wands is like, what the hell? You're gonna leave me with this queen of swords? I'm stuck with this shit? <laughs> this king of wands feels like they're pissed. They may have even offered to try to work with you, or maybe they wanted to go with you, wanted to partner up with you, wanted to take off with you and leave this all behind. But because you kept it quiet, kept it to yourself, this was an adventure for you and you alone. This King of Wands is pissed that they weren't included. There is slow movement in the right direction. You are taking steps towards getting out of the situation, but I do feel like it's, you still have some obstacles. You're still in the process of, of um, making these first steps, but you are moving in the right direction. What kind of time do we have? 22, 21, well, that's not bad. Okay, Virgo, I'm gonna get this message is pretty clear. I don't feel like I need any more clarifiers. I'm going to get one last set of cards as kind of a closing. This will be a shorter video than I'm used to doing, but this message came out pretty quickly today and pretty clear. Um, if you're watching this video to seek some advice or just some clarity, I will say that um, spirits agreed already. This was long overdue. This is something that probably should have happened a while ago. I do feel like you already know that that you've had some delays um, getting this off the ground because, because of the people holding you back, not because you haven't been ready, because you're coming across as, as being more than ready. You've been ready, you've had your feet on the ground about this, you've had your plans in your head. Um, you may have been keeping it under wraps, you may have been keeping it to yourself, like I said. Maybe you haven't sought a lot of guidance regarding this new start, but you feel grounded and ready to go. So if you're looking for advice or confirmation, Spirit is saying, go for it, Virgo. Um, continue taking the steps that you need to take in order to release yourself from any obstacles that are still in your way, including relationships, and get to work. Go for it. So this looks really promising. Virgo and I'm excited for you. I hope that whatever you're moving towards is going to bring you great happiness. It feels like it's going to. Let's get one last set of cards for you and see if anything else comes out for you, Virgo. Four of Earth with the, with the circle. So here's the, um, the hangman again. Destiny. You've been working hard for this, um, moving towards your something that's in your path, something you're supposed to be doing. This is a spiritual journey, maybe to a certain extent, because it feels like it's it does feel like destiny for you. Um, the emotions and the, the the relationship connections are the the things that have gotten in your way, or the things that continue to hold you back. You've got Lamas or the Devil card paired with the Mother of Water. 
So the thing that's been keeping you back is the emotions, the ties, emotional connections, family, friends, the people that you care about, but are actually the ones holding you back. And I do believe that there's love here with these people, but I don't, I, I feel like they're a little misguided with their love. Um, part of it can be, again, that you are a security system for them. They are um, financially tied to you because you have provided stability. Um, you know, you've been a staple in their life that have, have something that, that they've become reliant on that you walking away or leaving the situation could cause some turmoil in their life but it's not that they can't do for themselves they just don't want to do for themselves maybe is the real answer there's nothing left for you in this relationship including this king of wands <clears throat> um i think you realize this that that you are it's almost like you know you're walking away in this king of wands queen of swords king of swords they're feeling the sense of empty nest, emptiness, but for you, it's going to be a healing journey into a new beginning. For you, it's going to be a new start. For you, it's going to be hope and fulfilling, fulfillment. Clarifying this um, Queen of Swords, energy, Ten of Fire in reverse, and the Mother of Fire. This person, Queen of Swords in particular, feels lost feels like they've lost their direction, um, probably confused as to what to do. I think that this person knows in, in, intuitively that this is a move that you are making that is meant to happen for you, but they're feeling lost. They're feeling beaten down, bruised, broken. Um, don't let guilt get in your way, Virgo. Um, there is a sense that you could be feeling a, a little bit guilty or sad um, don't let that get in your way. That's just another strategy to keep you reined in or keep you put, make you stay put. And so don't don't let that get in your way. If you're feeling any guilt, I don't think you should. Um, you've spent a lot of time on this, Virgo, for Earth. You've collected resources, information. You've you've done your research. You've done your homework. You you know where you're headed. This is these are two very very positive secure cards and with your energy king of pentacles you know exactly what you want and you know exactly where you're going i mean i if i wish i could hold all these cards up at the same time you've got the sun you've got the ace of swords you've got the ace of wands you have the fool card and the nine of cups all in your underlying energy i mean look at this this is just this is new beginning all over, all written all over these cards. New beginning excitement, something that's meant for you. This is meant for you. This is your destiny. Whatever you're moving toward is absolutely your destiny and absolutely where you should be headed, Virgo. I'm very excited and very happy for you. If you watch this video and you're resonating with this message, I would love I said this in the um, Leo video also, because it was another exciting video. Um, I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know what's going on. If you resonate with this video, tell me what's up. Share your experience. That would be fun to read for me. Anyway, um, Virgo, I'm going to leave that here. I hope that this message was helpful to you, gave you some clarity, gave you some hope. Um, take care and I hope that you see you visit me again soon. Bye Virgo.